Hi, I'm Andrew. Welcome back to GCG Turbos for another look into the world of turbocharging. Now, it's all well and good that you've got your new performance enhancing turbocharger, but it still needs to be fitted up, maintained and serviced correctly. Now, GCG don't just sell the turbos, they also sell all the gear you need to install the turbo, as well as keep it running at its best, making it a true one-stop turbo shop. In our last issue, we spoke about these fitting kits which are used when installing a bolt-on turbo. Now, all of these parts are available individually to use in a custom turbo setup or to upgrade the support systems on your turbo. Now, let's take a look at some of these parts and why they're important. Now one thing that's often overlooked or neglected when installing a new turbo kit or maintaining it is the studs. Now the studs are very important as they basically hold together the entire turbo network and have to take the weight of the turbocharger system. Now they're used in the head to attach the exhaust manifold and they're used in the manifold to hold the turbo and in the back of the turbo to hold on the dump pipe. Now the factory studs are made from mild steel which is all well and good for factory operating conditions. But when subject to extreme temperatures they can tend to warp or become brittle, which means they can either snap or the nuts can get seized up, making it difficult to remove or they can break. The other problem under high temperature is sometimes they can stretch as well, which means the exhaust gas can escape out from in between the individual turbo system components and obviously cause problems in the turbochargers running. Now to combat this, GCG sell Inconel studs, which are much stronger and they're also much more stable under high temperature conditions, which means they won't break or seize up. Cooling and lubricating the turbo is very important. If it's not done correctly, it can lead to turbo failure, or even worse, an engine fire. Now, Garrett turbos are almost all water-cooled, while truss turbos rely on oil for both cooling and lubrication. When fitting a truss turbo to your car, you need to block off the factory water line fittings in the block. The factory oil and water lines are almost predominantly made out of steel, which is prone to cracking under performance operating conditions, especially in Nissans. Now GCG provide a range of fittings and hoses to replace them with and also to use in custom turbo setups. When replacing the factory oil and water lines or putting in ones for a custom turbo setup, braided line as well as Teflon braided line is the way to go as they provide the ultimate in safety and reliability. Now GCG also offer a high performance rubber line to use for the oil return which has an inner lining that's designed to be used with oil. Now when you're installing the water and oil feeds it's important to make sure that they are clear of the exhaust manifold as if they melt through it can cause an engine fire. Another important thing is also to heat wrap them if they're very close as this also protects them even further. GCG also sell all the fittings that you need to install the water and oil lines including the adapters that fit onto the turbo core, push on fittings, aircraft navy speed flow fittings, banjo fittings, as well as oil restrictors that are used to reduce flow but increase pressure in certain applications. Turbos come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, so GCG can provide all of the flanges required for every turbo in their range. Now you can get the flanges that you need to bolt the turbo to the manifold, including the ones that you need for split pulse turbine housings. You can also get the flange for the back of the turbine outlet, which can be used to make a custom dump pipe. And for some makes and models, you can even get the exhaust manifold flange to help you make the whole thing. Now, all of these items are available in either mild steel or stainless. Another item that's often overlooked when installing or maintaining a turbo is the gaskets. Now, gaskets are important as they seal the exhaust gases within the turbo system and also seal up the oil and water lines. Gaskets can either be made of a carbon graphite or they can be made from steel. Now some of the gaskets are reusable while others need to be replaced after every single time the turbo comes off. Multi-layer steel gaskets are completely reusable while other items such as these single layer crushed ring design gaskets need to be replaced every single time they're used. Now these crushed ring design gaskets work by when you tighten the nuts, the raised piece of metal compresses and forms a perfect seal. That's why every time you loosen them up, the seal is broken and they need to be replaced. Now you also have to remember to use a gasket in the oil drain line as well. Now if the proper gaskets are used correctly, you shouldn't have to use any form of liquid gasket or liquid sealant anywhere in the turbo system. Anyone that's worked under the engine bay of a turbo car will attest to just how hot they get. And the more power they make, the higher the temperature. Now in a turbocharging system, it's important to keep the exhaust gases as hot as possible, as the higher the temperature, the faster the exhaust gas velocity and the better the turbocharger works. Now the problem with aftermarket turbocharger kits is they often move the turbocharger within the engine bay, which can have adverse effects on surrounding engine support systems, 
due to their heat soak. To stop the problems from increased temperature and heat soak, GCG offer a full range of thermal products. This stick-on heat shielding can be put straight onto anything in the engine bay that's sensitive to heat and can even be stuck straight onto the turbine housing. Now this heat wrap is also very, very popular as you can use it to wrap the dump pipe to stop heat from transferring into the car as well as to protect the surrounding systems. Now a lot of people also wrap their exhaust manifolds as well to help control the heat even further. This heat shielding can be modified, cut, shaped, drilled, whatever you want to do to create whatever you need to protect your engine bay. GCG also sell these trust heat shields which not only look awesome, they help stop heat soak from the turbine housing. But one of the most popular things on the market now are the turbo blankets. These turbo blankets help keep the exhaust gas hot inside the rear housing, which helps obviously increase the efficiency of the turbocharger, and they also stop a lot of heat soak in the engine bay and allow you to put your hands inside the engine bay and stop yourself from getting burnt so easily. Now these turbo blankets are manufactured to suit each type of turbo and GCG stock them for every single turbocharger in their range. GCG also offer a wide range of upgraded actuators for internally wastegated turbos. Now these upgraded actuators are perfect for raising the boost level or for having more precise boost control when combined with a manual or electronic boost controller. And they also provide these brackets which are used if you want to install the actuator in a different spot on the turbo to help make it fit in a custom turbo installation. Now all of the parts we've looked at are available for a wide range of makes and models of cars and for every turbocharger in the GCG lineup. Now for more information or to help find the part that you need, jump on the website gcg.com.au or call the guys direct on 1300 Turbos.